All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video covering the Mustang. And before we even dive into that, when I was walking up on this car, kind of walking back to, to go ahead and start this video, I have to say, I don't know why I never bought a cow hood in the first place. I've owned this car for about 10 years, like 10 or 11 years now at this point. I've had every hood that a new edge car probably can have at this point, minus like one or two maybe. Um, but the 99 to 01 front bumper and cow hood combo is my far is by far the my favorite and i think it looks better than the 0304 bumper i've had tons of 0304 bumpers and i've had a few 99 to 01s um but you know the 0304 with a cow hood looks great but i think the 99 just sets it off and i think it, that will what will set it off even more is a nice set of retrofitted headlights let's just be honest you can do what i did right here upgrade to the diodynamics hids and leds for the fog lights the lighting still sucks dark age is a ford so let's go ahead and get into this video uh, or get into this video. If you haven't seen recently what I've done, I went to the junkyard, found some eight front eight pillars, all the clips and everything were there, which is what I needed. Uh, it's silver. It looks dingy right there because I, it was on a V6. So there you go. There's your answer, honestly. Um, so what I, I've been talking to a couple of people about hopefully just maybe for the quick summertime, getting this like the hood and stuff painted, maybe some paint correction on the car itself. Um, but I think if that doesn't happen, the best thing will happen for this car is fall, winter. It would be like a good project. I'm going to buy some new door seal gaskets because putting them in the pillars, I've just kind of noticed that the uh, even though the gaskets are a couple years old, they're not really uh, doing what they're supposed to be doing. Get that passenger side window fixed. The motor in is pretty weak. See, get the car tinted. Uh, see if I really do need to replace a driver and passenger window. I believe I'm just going to do the driver's side at least because of the way Ford did the dumb glue and then the bolt through the regulator, if you know what I'm talking about for the window. So I've had issue with that before. But catching up what I've done to the car recently, a couple weeks ago, which seems pretty, it's gone by pretty fast. I uh, picked, a, picked a car up from SM Auto, went ahead and switched out the Team Z adjustable front or upper and lower sway, uh, control arms and rear sway bar. I did that myself or took that out. Uh, nothing wrong with any of it. I just went ahead, gave the sway, ST, ST suspension rear sway bar to some kid. I uh, gave it to him for free. I didn't need it. Sold the Team Z stuff. Uh, went with the UPR stuff and the Eibach rear sway bar. And we added the MBRP catback exhaust. Didn't really need any, any custom work done to it to make it fit. So if you were in the market for a good uh, catback exhaust, I think for these cars, MBRP is one to consider. The only real difference I've noticed between the Borla Stingers is I still have those um, just in case I ever wanted to switch back. But the only real difference I notice is this one is a little has it's kind of like a deeper tone and the Stingers or the Borla Stingers kind of have more of a raspier tone. So this one reminds me of like a Magnaflow exhaust a little bit. So it's not as loud after cold start, but I do like it. So I like the switch up. Definitely just going to keep it. Uh, added the new wheels about a month ago. Uh, the reason I have the hood popped is because being that everything on this car suspension wise is kind of maybe four years plus or something, I kind of, this car is never really going to see the drag strip. I want ahead, I, I want to go ahead and make the car at least drive better or handle better in that aspect. So the caster camber plates we have are the Maximum Motorsports. I talked to them last week, gave them a call make sure that the k member because some k members on the coyote swaps have header clearance issues their new one from like 2019 was revised so it, it should uh have no issue with the bbk headers we already have their caster camera plates already have the steering shaft from their one piece from maximum motorsports so i think i'm just going to switch out the k member it is a lot of work kind of going backwards but at the same time it's going to benefit the car i believe a lot more of what I want to be able to do with it on the street more versus like drag strip. You still have you still have that option to kind of take it to the drag strip, but the Team Z I feel like limits that. And this car is more of a street car. I want it to handle a little better and be more of a comfortable ride. So we're gonna do the Maximum Motorsports uh, K member front control arms, and then probably the Steeda bump steer kit with it because this has all Team Z uh, bump steer kit, tubular K member, and uh, front control arms. Again, nothing wrong with it whatsoever. Great kit, zero issues. I just want the car to handle better for the street. That's all. I'm Like I said, I'm never really going to see take it to the track or anything like that. It would see more, more car shows or more car meets, anything else, versus uh, the drag strip and all that. 
but that's just a little update that I have for you guys right here. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. I appreciate you subscribing. Subscribe for future content on this build and other builds to come. Um, kind of taking a seat, uh, back seat to the finding the S550 just so I can go ahead and kind of finish this one up real quick. Um, I think it's just going to benefit the better find one probably in the fall or at least at the end of summer. Um, right now, prices are going to be a little higher just because it's summer. They're going to sell because people want to ride around in sports cars or Mustangs or, you know, any car that's fast. So I think we're just going to finish this one up real quick. Not a lot of stuff left. The carbon fiber mirrors are going to come, and I'm still thinking about ordering these Cobra rockers and the Mach 1 sails. But those will have to get painted with the entire car. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. I appreciate you stopping by again. Subscribe. I'll catch you later. Have a good one.